What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel. So today we're going to talk about a question that I seem to get a lot in comments and a lot in my discord channel, which is welcome. Like feel free, join the community, ask your questions. I always appreciate it, but I thought I'd add some clarity. And the question is, is, and this is one I get a lot. What GPU should I buy to get started mining? It's a question that I get a lot of, and it's a question that a lot of people jump in and answer, and that's great, phenomenal, awesome. But let's really dive into this because that question is a question that only you can answer. And I know that's not what you wanna hear, but only you can really answer the questions uh, of what graphics card should you buy? And you're like, wait, what? Let's talk about it. So there are, two main items that you need to answer in order for anyone to help you determine what graphics card you should get. So your first question, what's your budget? You always need to have a budget. Be careful. This is an investment. This is not a get rich quick scheme. So be careful as to what you're getting into. Only spend what you can lose. It's, it's, it's the same with gambling. Only spend what you can lose because nobody can go ahead and predict the market and the future. Now, this is very similar to traditional investments, but with some technicality behind it. So what is your budget? That's your first one. As I, as I said, be careful. The second question is, what exactly are you looking, what's your strategy? Are you looking to buy now and sell tomorrow? Or are you looking, I'm sorry, mine now, sell tomorrow? Or are you looking to mine now and see what it looks like 10 years from now? So those are two things that you really need to keep in mind as time goes on. And these are items that will help you make the best decision. So your next stop along this journey of, of answering these questions is, okay, check out this website, what to mine and, and, and follow me here, follow me here. Okay. So let's say you have determined that the 1660 super is what you can afford. Let's say you want to get two of these. Okay. Your, you know, your budget all, I can invest, let's say you can invest $2,000, okay? That's everything, motherboard, uh, power supplies, the works. But in that $2,000, you're gonna spend a thousand of it on graphics cards, let's say. So, okay, I know my budget is about $1,000. What should I do? Well, first, shop the market, check out eBay, check out OfferUp, check out Facebook Marketplace, you're not really going to find things brand new very easily. There is an opportunity, but it's really hard. So once you figured out, okay, my price point is two 1660 supers. They fit my price range. Okay. Let's make sure that they make what I'm looking for. So as I said, the first question there is what is your budget and your mining strategy? I can't answer both of those for you. But let's say it's two 1660 supers. So you can come in here and go, okay, I'm going to get two 1660 supers. I'm going to select this option here at the top that enables it. And now I got a spread of very common algorithms out there that are associated with the different cryptocurrencies. So the biggest one in this regard, as of right now, granted, could shift with the Ethereum happening coming up is Ethereum. This tells me with two 1660 supers, I'm mining at 58.60 mega hash. So the next thing to do is keep in mind is that mining takes electricity. So you do need to populate this field here, cost. This is something that you can find on your electric bill. It'll tell you what it costs per kilowatt. So make sure you come in and fill that out, okay? Mine is 0 0.07 right off of my PPL electric bill. Once you've done that, hit calculate. Now, what to mine is going to tell you, okay, so Ethereum is the most profitable. So we were right to think that. 
Um, there's also a few other options down through here, but it all depends on your strategy. You may have a mining strategy that's like, hmm, I want to mine something that is very unknown, is not super popular in hopes that it hits a bubble and it blows up and I end up being a millionaire, you know? Good luck to you. But let's say you go with Ethereum. Okay, so let's select Ethereum. So now in here, it's going to tell you what your profit is per day. So your cost, your, what you're making per day, your revenue, I'm sorry, minus your cost, your expense equals your profits. So $3.35 a day. So let's talk about hardware costs. So we talked about $2,000, right? So I'm going to put $2,000. We're, we're just rounding things, guys. We're rounding everything. Two cards plus everything else. Let's say you end up at $2,000 to get started. Let's hit calculate. So in the bottom left-hand corner, your break-even is 597 days. So there's some big reality right there for you. It's a year and, year and three-fourths. It's going to take you to break even on that $2,000. Now, some people go, might go, nope, I'm out. Not for me. I'm going to take my money and put it in my piggy bank and we'll be good to go. Perfect. Good for you. Other people might go, okay, I can afford to lose this. I don't really care about break even. I care about putting Ethereum coin away. And at some point it might blow up and really work in my favor. So hopefully that helps you answer some of these questions that you're, that are in your mind regarding, you know, what what GPU do you buy? You know, it really comes down to your strategies. So there's a few different strategies out there. Some people <clears throat> mine today, sell it tomorrow. Some people mine today, sell 50% tomorrow. Some people mine today and like myself have not cashed out any of it and just throw it into my uh, crypto wallet and it sits there just waiting, just waiting for one of them to take off. Uh, if you guys are looking to uh, places to buy cards, um, look at offer up. Make sure you have your Best Buy alerts turned on. You can you can select different products on Best Buy and you can put the alert on to say, hey, alert me you know, when this comes in uh, or as soon as it's in stock uh, in my store. Uh, you can also go ahead and check out Newegg Shuffle. Man, I am on that every single day. Um, Newegg Shuffle. Every time I get an email, I got to set to my text messages. Every time I get text messages, I'm checking Newegg Shuffle. Um, the big one, the big one, guys, is to just... Be smart about it and be patient. Don't just buy whatever you can get your hands on today. I would highly recommend that you be patient and find the deals. I think the deals are really what make or breaks this when it comes down to profitability. Well, guys, quick video on you know what, what graphics card should you buy for mining. Hopefully, you walk away with this with a little more knowledge than what you had before. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.